Hello everyone. Welcome to the next session of Argus Safety. Today we are going to see the case form features. How would a case form look like and what all are the tabs in the case form and what all those what all details those tabs consist of and what would be the what is the purpose of those tabs those tabs and those fields in the case form so let me log in i've logged in i'm logged in with the same username password as faculty in the password of faculty and the database is argus db click on login the user is logged into the application now let me open the case form so in the previous sessions we have seen all these menus and also when a, when we open a case form we'll be having the toolbar over here all the tools we've seen all those things so let me open a case from case actions open click on the case hyperlink here we should open a case as we are looking after these particular tabs please ignore the status of the case as we would be looking only after the different tabs of the case form and also i will be showing you what all for for different report types how would the case form displays so coming to general tab so as i said a case form would have eight tabs one is general patient product event analysis activities additional information and regulatory reports general tab is the one which provides the general information and the report information and study information if it's for a study case literature information if it's a literature case let me take you through each report type and show you how that how that displays so firstly i am taking a spontaneous case where the report type is spontaneous and country the country of incidence is united kingdom the initial receipt date when this case is actually received from to the uh, for pv department or the uh, when this case is actually recorded from the patient that is the initial receipt date central receipt date medically confirmed medically confirmed refers to the case whether the case is a medically confirmed case or not and initial justification if we are when we are changing any values if we, are, if we are, when we are provide the spontaneous report type of spontaneous country as united kingdom if we need to change any of these values at that moment we will provide the justification why we had to change the values to specific fields after creating a case and this is amendments and follow up amendments and follow up in the sense uh, whenever a pharma company receives a follow up information for a case that information would be provided over here means when the follow up was received what is the safety received date whether the follow up received is a significant follow up or not or uh, if there is any amendment for an initial case if there is any amendment even before we are submitting the report say submitting the report in the sense initial report i refer to even before submitting the initial report if we have any further amendments to the case then that would be a amendment that follow up would be an amendment to the case and uh, data cleanup would be specific to the migrated case migrated cases or even for in, for a created case when uh, when we are even before submitting the initial initial report if we are if we need to clean any data then we'll provide the means in when the uh, in that particular follow up date what is the data cleanup means we will be providing it as a data cleanup and we'll provide the justification over here that is the purpose of this amendment or follow up section and uh, next comes report information report information in the sense the person who has reported the case is the reporter 
so the reporter here might be a patient patient he or she him they themselves can be the reporter or few scenarios we have the medical representatives who would be reporting the cases to the authorities or uh, to the pharma companies that information would be provided over here who is the reporter who has reported the inform reported the case so this all is the I mean, this uh, salutation first name and last name these are the main fields uh, to uh, to identify who the reporter is whether the reporter is a healthcare professional or not that is defined from this healthcare professional drop down and uh, this reporter type type ahead field displays whether the reporter is a physician or a consumer or a, what say like a, a lawyer a non health healthcare professional a company representative so we have several uh, reporter types a specialist a professor a physician pharmacist any any of these can be provided over here in the reporter type and if if the reporter don't want his or her name to be displayed in the reports which would be uh, distributed with the authorities then we can provide this checkbox we can check this checkbox of protect confidentiality so that this reporter information would not be displayed in the reports and uh, in some scenarios uh, there might be multiple reporters for a single case in that scenario who is the, from whom the case is primarily received that person would be the primary reporter and whether that person is a correspondence contact or not so that is the details of a general tab for a spontaneous case let me take you through one more case now i am uh, now i don't want to go with this case as this is a spontaneous case let me take you through one more case okay uh, or else wait i'll i'll create a case i just want to show you how a study case looks like so i'm creating a case uh, usa report type a sponsor trial sponsor trial or clinical trial both refer to the same i just want to search for what all studies are available so we have two studies one is a single blinded study ams study 2 is a single blinded study and ams study 1 is also a single blinded study 